So feet are hip width apart, toes straight ahead. Pick up the toes, get your weight into the base of the toes and heels evenly. Spread the toes out as you put them down. Ankles, knees, hips, and shoulders line up. So let's start focusing on that midsection, right about the solar plexus and navel area. So ribs in and up, activating that core. So get a good support through your lower back. Sitting bones toward the floor, hips, pelvis nice and open. And then just relax your shoulders, let your arms hang, and reach your crown toward the ceiling. Take a few breaths. Remember, deep breaths, lowest part of the lungs, letting the expansion fill all the way up, exhaling and releasing all the way into that lower part as well. So belly moving out as the diaphragm drops, filling the lungs, pushing it up, exhaling, getting rid of all those tensions and toxins. And remember, personal practice, do what's right for your body, keep your awareness inward, and allow your body to do what's right for you. So we'll begin with our warm up. So inhale, reach your arms way out to the sides at shoulder level. Exhale, hands to your heart, elbows a little bit back, open the chest. Stretch forward, keeping your shoulders down. And exhale, hands behind you, clasping your fingertips. Lift your heart, stretch back and away, opening the chest and lengthening the spine. And then pivot at your hip joints and come forward. So hands come up as your head comes down. Just move your head around a little to ease your neck. Tuck in your chin. Top of the head going as far down toward the floor as you want as those hands come toward the ceiling. Keep your knees a little bit bent. Tuck in your chin a little more. Lift those ribs as you drop your sitting bones and begin winding your way slowly back to the top and heart toward the ceiling as you stretch your head back into that upper body back bend. So keep breathing and lengthening through the spine. And then inhale upright, exhale, release your arms, and just take a moment to feel the circulation maybe increasing a little bit, energy beginning to flow. And again, centering in your feet up through the crown, inhale, reach those arms wide, Exhale to your heart, stretch your arms forward, and exhale, clasp the opposite way behind. So shift the fingers one position over. Lift your chest, stretch your head back, and exhale into the pivot. Hands up and head down. And again, just relax through the shoulders, letting those hands move toward your head and your head toward the floor. Take a few breaths. Exhale and release a little deeper maybe. And then when you're ready, knees bent, chin in, roll your way up. Feeling your spine move into place, up into the back bend. Stretch your head back. Lift your chin, but lift the base of your skull as well. So that whole back of your neck doesn't crunch. And then inhale upright. Release your arms to your sides into mountain pose. And again, just scan inward and notice how things are. And we'll bring arms out to the sides, palms toward the ceiling and right over your shoulders. Pass your hands past each other and clasp them. Bring your arms back by your ears and sitting bones toward the floor. Reach your head up. Without twisting, lean over into that side stretch, moving laterally with your spine and opening the ribs on the side you're moving away from. Push that foot you're moving away from down maybe a little bit more for even deeper stretch through the ribs. Inhale back up, switch your hands and into your feet again. As your arms are by your ears, stretch everything up and exhale to the other side, making sure again you're twisting straight to the side or bending straight to the side, not twisting. So keep that top shoulder back a little bit. Reach out through your head and your hands. Push the foot down maybe a little deeper. Breathe and relax. 
And again, on an inhalation, come back upright and release to mountain pose. Feel your sides, notice your body, and get ready for our twist. So remember, you want that spine stretching open so that it has room to twist. Arms are out, shoulder level, palms towards the ceiling, and over your shoulders. Bring your hands to your elbows and elbows back by your ears and shoulder blades down, sitting bones down, crown up, and exhale into the twist. Keep the knees a little bent, breath in, and on the exhalation, give it over. And just kind of deep into that position as you want in the morning. And relax. So remember, keep the weight on both feet evenly. Keep your arms near your ears as much as you can. Keep the head and elbows reaching away from your waist. And sitting bones, lifting maybe a little bit more. And then slowly staying in your twist, come back up and look towards the ceiling. Pull your elbows back. And so upper body. And relax. Keep breathing. Nice deep breath. And then exhale to the top. Exhale to the center. Switch your arms around. And again, pull them back by your ears. Sitting bones down, shoulder blades down, crown and into your twist. Again, lengthening, breathing, and pivoting over as you exhale. Come into that twist forward bend. Take a few breaths, just relax. And then slowly work your way back up, staying in your twist. Pull your elbows way back, shoulder blades down, upper body back down. Keep the weight still in both feet. And then inhale upright, center, bring your arms up, out to shoulder level with the palms facing the floor. Lead with your chest and chin coming parallel to the floor as much as you can. Tuck in your chin a little bit, stretch it out, sitting bones and crown away. And then just drop into ragdoll and breathe. So let your arms hang wherever they fall. Lift your sitting bones, kind of knees, kneecaps toward your thighs, tightening the front of your thighs so the back of your legs get a little more stretch. Chin in, top of your head down. Kind of move around so that neck releases. Pull your hands behind your legs if you want an extra pull in. And then release that. Arms back into ragdoll. Slide the hands up under your knees. Get your back nice and flat and straight. Chin and chest forward. But tuck your chin back a little bit so that back of the neck stays stretched as well. And then bring your arms straight out at shoulder level and pivot up, seeing if those arms stay at shoulder level. And then reach up overhead, palms together, and hands to your chest and release into mountain pose. So take a moment, just realigning and reassessing how things are this morning. Deep breath in, exhale, just relax all the tension. And we're going to stretch up and pivot over and come all the way down into child's pose and we'll be down on the mat the rest of the morning. So hands next to your feet, palms up, forehead down, coming into that good back stretch in child's pose. So just give your body a moment to connect to the surface beneath you. Deep breathing, releasing tension. And then bringing your arms out in front, we're gonna pivot up onto hands and knees. So come into table position first, wrists, elbows, and shoulders lined up, and knees and hips lined up with the feet straight back from your knees. Keep those bottom ribs up so you're supporting your spine with that core position, and the chest maybe a little toward your hands so you're not hunching up in that upper back. And just focus on your solar plexus between your ribs, 
above the navel, below the sternum, that midsection of your torso. And draw that solar plexus down toward the floor, shoulder blades toward your waist, hips lifting, and you can look forward with the crown up toward the ceiling. And then exhaling, pull that solar plexus point up, 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 as high as it'll go toward the ceiling. And then we're just going to work that solar plexus to get the heat and energy flowing through that midsection. So sinking down and then lifting up right through that solar plexus. So keep your awareness, your focus on the solar plexus as you inhale it down and exhale it up and begin going a little faster and a little further at each end of that movement circuit. So you're inhaling and exhaling and getting that whole midsection really moving through that solar plexus and warming up the energy in that middle of your body. Getting ready for some core work this morning. And then after you feel like maybe you've warmed it up enough, just take a moment back in table position with your spine as straight as you can get it to feel that circulation increase and energy flow through you. And then move your hands a little bit forward and shift your shoulders over your wrist. And then extend your legs back onto the base of your toes behind you, not the toes themselves. And then push way back through your heel coming up into plank position. So ankles, knees, hips, and shoulders as much in a line as you can. If you feel like you're sagging in the middle, focus on that solar plexus. Lift it up, navel lifting toward your spine. And just keep that position, or if that's too much, you can put your knees down, but keep that solar plexus navel activated, whichever position you're in. So take a moment there, reaching up with the navel, with the solar plexus, and out through the heel and the crown, or through the sitting bones and the crown if your knees are down. So take a moment, feeling that plank position really working the energy into that middle part of your body. And then bring your knees down, and we're gonna to rotate to one side and lift the arm coming into side plank with the knee down. So again, from your ankle, knee, hip, and shoulder, you should be in a straight line, and keep that neck aligned as well. If that's too much on your wrist that's on the floor, you can bring your forearm and elbow down to the floor. And then rotate back into the plank. Put your knees down. Sink back into an extended child's pose or wisdom pose. The palms to the floor, forehead down toward the mat, hips sinking back toward your heels. And just take a moment to release the wrist. You can circle them around if you'd like to get that circulation going back in the wrists again. And then keeping those hands connected, pivot up again with the arms a little bit in front, shift your shoulders over your wrists, and again, come up into your planks, either full plank or knees down plank. I'm gonna turn around so that I can keep kind of facing you so you'll see what I'm doing. So again, as you're in your position, that navel is lifting. If you feel like you're sagging in your hips, bring them up a little bit, even a little bit higher than in a straight line so that that core is working in a solid position rather than sagging down in that lower back. And again, we'll bring the knees down and we'll rotate to the side into the side plank. So breathe. So keep that whole core and sides of your body working with you as you come up into the side plank. The wrist should be as much directly under your shoulder and the other arm straight above as you can manage. Take a breath and as you exhale, bring your hand back to the mat and step back into plank. Energize it out through the crown and the heel. Make sure that core is working and then knees to the mat, and again, sink back, exercise, circling the wrist if you need to, bring it all the way 
down as much as it's comfortable for you. Remember, personal practice, if you need to separate your knees, you can do that, or you can keep the knees together and get a good look. And then we're going to pivot one more time back up into our table position. And we're going to go back into plank. And this time we're going to do the full side plank rather than the one with the knee down. If you like the knee down one, stick with that. If you'd rather just stick with a little tap, you can continue to be in table position and work that solar plexus that way. Otherwise, hands a little forward, shoulders over your wrists. Extend back into the base of the toes, lifting that navel area all the way up. Solar plexus toward the ceiling. Crown and heels moving away from each other. Stay there. Put your knees down if you want to and do the kneeling version. Or rotate to the sides of your feet and bring that arm up right above your other arm. And again, as much as possible, straight from the ankle, knee, hip, and shoulder into that side plank. Stretch it out through the head, and then rotating that hand back down and into your plank position. Now, if you're really energetic, you can move your shoulders toward your fingertips and bend your elbows and lower down. I'm not going to do that. My wrists don't tolerate it. But come all the way down onto your belly. Take a moment and rest in crocodile. Head to one side, palms up with your hands, shoulders down, and legs just relax. On an exhalation, turn your head to the opposite side. And again, just take a moment to breathe and relax while I turn around. So just sink into your hips and your legs, relax. Bring your hands under your shoulders and your forehead toward the mat. And we're gonna push up and back one more time into that extended child's pose, letting those arms, shoulders come down toward the floor. Hips back towards your heels, forehead toward the mat. Take a breath. Exhale, tension. And then again, pivot up onto your hands and knees, wrists, elbows, and shoulders lined up, knees and hips lined up. Move those hands a little bit forward, shoulders over your wrists. Tuck your toes under and again, come up into your plank position. Lift the navel, lift the solar plexus. Push back through the heels, out through the crown. Get everything as straight in a line as you can. Stay there, bring your knees to the mat if you want to do the kneeling version, and or rotate to the side, again, stacking those feet and stacking your arms one above the other. Breathe, extending up through the fingertips, up through the crown, and maximize that, keeping everything as straight aligned as you can. And then exhaling, the hand comes back down, Back into your plank position, energize that core, lift the hips a little more if you need to, drop your knees if you need to, shift forward with your shoulders over your fingertips and elbows bent down into child's pose, or crocodile pose. So come all the way down, however you need to get there. Head to one side, shoulders relaxing. Take a few breaths. Exhale, head to the opposite side. And again, just take a moment to breathe and relax and rest in crocodile. And then bring your forehead to the mat. Slide your chin forward. Turn your hands, palms down. Slide your feet back. And lift your right leg, keeping the hips both down. So extend out through the base of the toes on that right leg, coming up into half locust. Stretch way out through your leg, up through the chin. If it's too 
stressful on your neck with the chin, you can put your forehead to the mat. And just let those shoulders stay as much down toward the floor as they will. Keep lifting through the base of the toes, through the heel of that extended leg. And then slowly exhale that leg down and take a moment to relax everything. You can turn your forehead to the mat if you'd like. And of course, we're going to balance the body and do the second side. So again, relax those hips down evenly into the floor. Release your shoulders down, slide your chin forward. Press down into the hips and extend out through the base of the left leg and lift toes as you lift that leg. Both hips stay down. You don't have to go too high. This strengthens your lower back as well as working those abs. So just allow that lower back, which opposes the abdominal muscles, so that you're strengthening that whole core. Keep reaching out through the toes. Keep lifting as high as you'd like to go as you keep both hip bones toward the mat. And again, when you're ready to stretch out a little bit more through the leg, slowly exhale that leg to the mat and tuck your forehead down toward the floor. So take a moment to breathe and relax. If you would like, we'll do both legs together. If not, just go back into child's pose or extended child's pose, wisdom pose and take a little release through your shoulders. Otherwise, bring your hands underneath your hips and legs, either palms up or palms down, or clasping your hands underneath you and getting those forearms really connected toward the mat. Slide your chin forward. Slide your toes back through the base of the toes of both legs. And then pressing your hands and arms into the floor, go ahead and raise those feet as high as they want to go, pressing the hips down into your arms. So again, chin sliding forward or forehead on the mat if that's too much for you. Legs lifting only as high as you want them to go. And extending back out through the base of the toes as the chin and crown slide forward. Shoulders as much toward the floor as feels comfortable. And again, if you need to lower those legs at any point, feel free to exhale them down and relax. Otherwise, reach up a little higher and then exhaling, slowly lower your legs. Release your arms, hands palms up, head to the side, shoulders down, resting crocodile. Take a moment to breathe. Exhale to the other side with your head. And again, just a couple breaths there, letting the shoulders and neck release, allowing your whole body to relax. And then roll over onto your back and Situate for a moment of reclined integration into corpse position. So just relax your body down, shoulders toward the mat, hands, palms up. Move back and forth on the lower back sacrum area, getting it comfortable. And we're going to do a gentle workout for the lower back and the abs. So hands, palms down near your sides and we're going to bend the knees heels up near your sitting bones feet flat on the floor and just kind of slide the sitting bones toward your heel bringing your whole spine down to the mat feel that contraction through the core through the abs navel solar plexus coming toward the mat so feel the contraction and then lifting your ribs sliding the sitting bones onto the floor so you're arched up from your shoulder blades to your sitting bone with space underneath your lower back into a little lower back back bend. And then again, exhaling, pulling everything to the floor, sliding those sitting bones toward your heels and raising up the ribs, rolling into that back bend from your shoulder blades to your sitting bones. 
ribs up toward the ceiling. And just a few times through that rotation, whatever is good for you. So you can do it very gently, or you can maximize it if your body is willing to do that. Our exercise for the lower back that strengthens the lower back. And it also works out and tones the abs a little bit. So this is really gentle. If you really would like to do abs work when you get up in the morning, but you just don't want to be too exhausted by it, this is a really good one to practice. And after a couple more times, just relax back down, turn your hands, palms up, relax your shoulders down, relax your spine into whatever is a comfortable position. Just take a few moments. You can extend your legs out if you'd like for a total reclined integration. So after a few more breaths, just adjust your body, get the sacrum lower back connected to the mat. And then again, sliding your sitting bones toward your heels, maybe a little bit more, get that back connected. We're gonna do a very gentle side stretch for the oblique side abdominals. So we're gonna take the hands just off the floor with the palms toward the floor. And then raise your upper body from the heart, not your head, don't tuck in your chin. You don't wanna strain your neck. So you wanna be using the core muscles to lift your body. And then keeping the body straight, the upper torso straight, reach your hand toward the toes on one side, still looking up. And then come back to the center. And we'll do it a couple more times. So reach for the foot and come back to the center. So what you want to feel is that side that you're reaching toward the foot contracting along that side of your body while the other side stretches open. And again, back to the center, continuing to do that a few times as your body moves. If you need to return to the floor, if you're overstraining your neck, feel free to do that as well. And just keep breathing, keep Stretching on that one side as you contract on the side, you're moving the hand toward the foot. And then coming back to the center, exhale and release your upper body down just for a breath, breath of fresh air and a break for your torso. But of course, you know what we have to do. We have to do the opposite side, yeah. So again, lifting from the chest, stretching back through the head, chin a little bit toward your chest so that back of the neck keeps stretching, arms up, hands slightly off the floor, reach for that opposite foot. And again, come back to the center. And just find your place that your body is comfortable moving in that position. Keep your knees straight up to the ceiling. Keep that hand going toward the foot, just off the floor, reaching for your toes and allow your body to be as straight through the torso as feels comfortable for you. Keep the chest lifting, not the chin toward the chest. You don't want to overstrain that back of your neck. Keep breathing, keep stretching. And when you feel like you've done an even number for the other side, exhale, upper body back down. And again, just take a moment to breathe, relax, let that belly soften. And bring your arms out to T position. Extend your legs out. Turn your hands, palms up. And then pressing your lower back to the mat, we're going to raise the right leg and roll all the way over to the left side. Bring your foot to the floor, your hands together on the mat. Keep your head down. So if you need to put a pad under your head or your neck, 
so that you're not overstraining your neck, you can do that. And you're gonna take your left hand on your right leg or hold the foot if you can reach it and bring your right arm above your shoulder to the ceiling, palm open toward your foot and look up at your hand. And then keeping that palm open to the ceiling, lower it straight behind your shoulder while you look at it toward the mat into the twist. So the more you have your hand on your foot or your leg, keeping that front leg on the floor, the more your lower back is in the twist. The more your shoulders come toward the floor and your hand, the more your lower back is in the twist. Don't force it, gravity will get it there when your body's ready. And the more you turn your head looking at that hand behind you, the more your neck and shoulder is in the twist. So just go where your body needs to go. <sighs> Exhale a little more emphatically to release those spine ligaments into the twist. And keep breathing. When you're ready to release, let go of your leg or foot, roll onto your back with that foot up straight to the ceiling, press your back into the mat, flex your heel, and lower that leg all the way to the mat. And just take a moment there to feel that spine energy moving along in your twist energy release, balancing your body and your energy. And then when you're ready, we're going to do to the opposite side. So again, shoulders and shoulder blades down, hands, palms up, out at shoulder level, feet extended. Press that lower back down, pushing the sitting bones toward your heel. Bring your left leg up, flex the heel, and push the foot up toward the ceiling. On an exhalation, roll over to the right side, foot to the floor, hands together, head on the mat. And again, get situated and comfortable there. Hold your foot or your leg with your right hand and the left arm comes up right above your shoulder, looking up at it with the palm open toward your foot. And again, stretching out through the fingertips as you lower that arm behind you, looking toward it and keeping the leg or foot on the floor with your right hand. If your hand comes to the floor behind you, that's fine. Just kind of focus on getting the shoulder maybe a little more down if you want more twist. If the hand is in the air, just let gravity relax your, your spine and bring your arm closer to the floor when your body is ready. You never need to force a twist. Always just let your body do what's right for you. So hand on your leg or your foot on the front. The closer it is to the foot and the more you're pushing that heel away from you on the extended forward leg, the more the lower back is in the twist. The more the shoulder and arm are toward the floor, that's your middle back. And the more your head is turned, that's your neck and shoulder. Be gentle where you need to. Emphasize it as much or as little as your body needs. And when you're ready to release, let go of the foot or leg, roll onto your back, flex the heel, and again, use those abs to slowly lower the leg into the mat. And when you're in your final position, find your corpse position. If you need your knees bent, you can do that to release that lower back a little more, knees toward each other, or we're padding under your knee. Hands, palms up, shoulders down, Deep breath in and just relax into corpse position. So go ahead and allow your body to sink into that surface beneath you, just relaxing deeply, allowing all that core energy to have a moment of reprieve. Notice your spine all activated. Maybe the meditative center activated as well from that twist energy. And just focus inward, letting all the muscles of your body relax and release. Your body growing heavier, sinking deeper into your earth embrace. Feeling Mother Earth supporting you and relaxing completely. As your body relaxes, just to release awareness from your body and from your mind as well. The thoughts will come, 
just let them drift away. It's always your choice whether you pay attention to the content of your thoughts. Let the thoughts drift in and out as easily as your breath, allowing your mind to release and relax as much as your body. And as your mind and body relax, release your awareness from both and let awareness center into that peace within, filling your mind with peace, filling your body with peace, He's just being peace. And as always, if you want to stay and relax longer, feel free to do so. Otherwise, bring energy and awareness back to the moment, to the room, to your body. And just begin moving and stretching gently as you become ready. And whenever you're ready for your final hug of appreciation, just press your back down, draw your heels in toward your hips and your knees up toward your chest. Wrap your arms around, give yourself a good hug, however much your body needs this morning. And when you're ready to release that, you can roll over to the side and sit back up and prepare for the rest of your day. Thanks for joining me. And I